Do you believe in miracles? Do I believe in miracles? I find that a difficult question to answer. It's kind of like when people ask, do you believe in God? Kind of depends on what it is that you mean by the word. Do I believe that a supernatural deity reaches down and shoves aside natural laws for someone's particular individual benefit? Not really. Not even a universe that's willing to set aside natural laws for somebody's personal benefit. Natural laws are natural laws, and I'm perfectly willing to concede that there's plenty of stuff that science does not yet explain. Science works that way. You never know everything. I'm totally comfortable with that. So I'm good with the notion that there's all kinds of natural laws we don't quite get yet. But do some people get to have those laws broken and others not? I'm not comfortable with that. I mean, if that's the case, why do some people get that rare miracle and not most of the rest of people? It bothers me to hear people say, oh, well, I was saved by a miracle that kept me from going into work at the Twin Towers on that fateful day on September 11th, and I was saved. Well, what about all those thousands of other people who weren't saved, who didn't get the miracle? Were they somehow less worthy? And I love a good story of a miraculous healing of an incurable disease as much as the next person, but what about those people who just die? Several months ago, the husband of a good friend of mine was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and you know what? He's got terminal cancer. To make things worse, a few weeks later, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And so far, neither of them has been miraculously cured. Both of them, the proverbial nicest people you will ever meet, parents of two lovely teenage daughters, a wonderful family. If anybody deserves a miracle, it's them. But you know what? As far as the doctors know, David's got maybe a few months. Why don't they get a miracle? Well, it depends on what you mean by miracle. The Greek words that are used in the New Testament that are translated generally as miracle are two different words, one that means signs and one that means wonders. Now, I have a lot easier time with signs and wonders than miracles. Signs are things that point beyond themselves, that make you think of something larger than that particular thing. And wonders are things that fill you with wonder. Well, so long as you understand that your sign is personal and very open to interpretation, that you can't know what it is that God or the universe is definitely trying to tell you for something, then I say, by all means, be on the lookout for signs, for things that point you to a deeper understanding, signs of love in the universe, signs of beauty, signs of connection. Why not live in a world of signs? And when it comes to wonder, well, I'm on the side of Walt Whitman who says, why, who makes much of a miracle? As for me, I see nothing else but miracles. Why not be filled with wonder, like Walt Whitman, with the view of Manhattan, or the fish in the ocean, or the people that you sit next to? Why not be filled with wonder? So many amazing things in the world, if you're only willing to open your heart and your eyes to being caught up in wonder. And in that sense, sure, I think my friends do get a miracle. In this really hard time with neither of them able to work, they found out just how surrounded by friends they are, people who are willing to help them with a ride or with something to eat, friends who made it possible for the family to go on a vacation to Hawaii just to have some precious time together before things got really bad. Isn't that a sign? 
a sign of connection, of love, of how what we put out into the world comes back. Isn't that a wonder? That we aren't alone? That when we reach out, people might reach back? That's how my friend takes it. She says, yes, it's hard, but these days are very sweet. She's filled with wonder in the midst of the most difficult news that anybody could ever have to face. All of this loss surrounding her, and yet she manages to find a way to live in wonder. If you ask me, it's a miracle.